In this video, I want to show you how to turn on automation in TradeStation. Once you have the correct symbol and the strategy set up, you will see, as in this case, SR Countertrend 2 e mini SP in our portfolio of strategies. And you see up here the SA. If it's green, automation is on. If it's gray, automation is off. And so to turn on automation, you can go Format Strategies or you can right click and go Format Strategy. Either way, you will get to the same dialog box. And you see the strategy Capstone SR Countertrend 2. There's two tabs up here. So you have to make sure you're under the Strategies tab. And then you select on Automate Execution using whichever account you want to use. I recommend, if you've never done this before, start out in Sim. If you're testing things, you're demonstrating things like I am, start out in Sim until you are comfortable with the way it works. And then select I Agree. I choose Off. I don't want to sit here and manually confirm each setup. And then select I Agree. You may get some additional dialogues. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But additional settings that you want to take a look at are also on here. You can go Properties for All. And under the Automation tab, if you're going to automate more than one strategy on the same symbol, which we are in this portfolio, you want to make sure this box is checked. Allow multiple automated tra trading strategies on multiple char charts using the same features Forex symbol in the same account. And so I also select these first two because I want to cancel and replace the limit orders to market orders for both entries and exits. And those can toggle off and on. And I usually select between 0 and 3. And I get good results doing that. I don't want to miss a trade. I don't want to miss a trade to save a tick. So that is the way you set up automation. You go through that process. You go in the automation tab. And then you say OK. And then you say close. And then you see the gray goes to the green. It's still kind of setting up in the background. And so now it's all set up. There are no trades. And each session for each day is indicated by the red vertical bar. That's how I have my chart set up. So you can see these are five-minute bars. But the session for the day starts right there at the red bar on the day session. To get that, you can go format window. If you don't have that format window, session break, select red. And it'll, it'll change to red so you can see that. I like to clearly see uh, the differences between the days. And so that is those are some of the settings that I use. Now, for example, um, taking a look at an existing strategy. Here's a strategy. Say you come in, come in here and you're, you don't have any positions in the market and you want to turn on automation. A lot of people like to do this to phase into a strategy. So say the mirror got in at... 32, 39, 50, and the market is down here, and you say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place, I'm going to manually enter the order, so I'm going to buy one ES, and I'm going to turn on automation to exit the strategy. So what you would do, this is the same thing you do if you're disconnected, so I'm going to disable automation to show you how that works. So when you disable automation, it says cancel order, so I'm going to say cancel order, it's going to add it back when I turn on automation. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to format the strategy, and I'm going to automate. I agree. I'm going to turn confirmation off. And I'm going to select I agree. And those properties for all are already set up. I've done that. You see those three check boxes are checked. And I say close. And so it's setting up here. And then this dialog pops up on, on another screen. Exit this position. And then so what this will do is if you if you are matched, if you are disconnected for, from the internet and you're in this position, you want to say exit this position if you want to exit it based on the strategy. If you don't want it to exit this position and you want it to take the next trade, you say do not exit this position and it won't send a sell order when it gets to either the profit target or the stop loss, but it will take the next trade. So for this example, we're going to say we, we got in at a better price. A lot of people like to phase in on strategies. They'll wait till it, there's some adverse excursion or the portfolio is going to draw down. Then they'll just take the net position and turn on all the strategies. And when you do, you say exit this position. So it'll exit the position with automation. Be sure to read that dialogue. And so there it is. The profit target is set at 10 points. So there should be a profit target at 32.49.50. Let's look at the order bar. View order bar, and you'll see there is an order 324950 and some other orders based on some other automation that's already set up. So that is the way you would manage a strategy that already has a position that you want to phase into. Or if you turn on automation 
and you don't have any positions and you want to wait for the next trade, just say do not exit the position. Or if you want to be in that position, make sure you're in it. You have to manually go in at the market and enter it. And then, and then once you do that, you can um, turn on automation and say exit this position. So these are some of the trades today. You see all of the windows in this workspace now have automation set to on. They're, it's on. And so um, let me know if you have any additional questions on setting up automation in TradeStation.